Hi, Antti Nico speaking and today is the day we start another experiment that you can be a part of. Today we are going to see if we can try and end the headache that some people get while watching 3D movies. In order to understand how we are going to try to do that, we need some general knowledge about a thing or two. You probably already know what is a placebo. Your doctor gives you a little something while saying that it's gonna relieve the pain or something good like that. So it could be a pill that relieves a pinky ache for example. While actually the medication is giving you has no physical effect on your body and it's probably only made of sugar. But the trust you have in your doctor will make you think that you're getting better. Pain is probably gonna be reduced because you are persuaded that you are gonna be better. Well the contrary does exist. It's called a nocebo and it works in this way. Let's imagine that you are at the dentist and that he has his tools in his hands and before he starts doing his job, he proudly says it's gonna hurt big time. Well, there is much more chance that you'll be in more pain than you would otherwise. Well, the idea that hit me was, was the headache while watching 3D invented by medias and word of mouth without any proof. And after they heard that they might be in pain, some people might have created a headache by themselves. And I'm not saying that the headache is not real. It's just that according to my hypothesis, it's not caused by 3D, but by the fact that people think they will have a headache. So they do feel a real pain. So the thought behind this experiment is that you listen to my fake advices on how to not get a headache while watching a 3D movie and after that you can go and see someone that has this kind of headache and of course you don't talk to the person about this video or you'll have screwed up everything and you invite this person to the theater to see a 3D movie and you tell him that you found a way to stop the headache with some fake tricks that I'm gonna show you and after that you tell me in the comments if he had a headache or not if his head is still in pain we can assume that it is not a nocebo at least not for him or that he doesn't trust you and if his head doesn't hurt well, we can assume that he was either lying about his headache in the first place or that it was a nocebo. So here are the fake advices and tricks in order to not get a headache. At first, you can tell them to drink a cold glass of liquid in order to keep their brains cool and not be dehydrated or something like that. Then you tell them to get in the first rows or the rows to the side and you tell them something like it makes your house work less. And throw something in there like you need a good night of sleep before. And of course, you can add a few ideas of yours as long as they believe it. You should share this video so that we can have a big bigger sample of people and you will tell me the results of this experiment in the comments of this video uh, did they have a headache was it more or less painful than before and I'll do a new video talking about the results when I have a large sample of people and that's why I'm asking for your help you should participate in the experiment and of course you can do it on more than one person so that's it for today I hope that this is as interesting for you as it is for me there is a link to our Facebook page in the description don't forget to subscribe and thanks a lot for watching in our next video we are going to talk about sleep so join us next time for a conversation that will be quite deep yeah!